getting to today, bringing you all the way back to today, um, at least in New Jersey, Manhattan, Philly, that's where we cover. Um, it's an odd market at the moment. Right now, it's definitely a, a seller's market, where in the past it wasn't. So someone would go out and, and put, <laughs> right now, they put your phone, they get the listing, and within a day to three days, they'll get 20 opportunities to, uh, uh, with people bidding high over, you know, 50 grand over asking price in some areas and everything like that. So, you know, I look at it. So what happened to our business, you know, people would book our job and all of a sudden before we even get out, someone said, wait, stop. I just sold the house. I don't need the pictures, you know? And so I had to figure out a way how to market against that negative, you know, being in sales and, and, and people understood. So, my, my turn on that was to say, look, it takes a while. Even if you get the deals, it'll take a while through going through home inspections, through mortgage approvals, et cetera, that the deal can fall flat, okay? And once you do that, all of a sudden, all your buyers that you had in the initial buyers are all gone because they moved on. So I just said, keep your, you know, have us come in, keep the stuff up for as long as you can. And what that will do is it'll draw more people and you can say pending, but you know, you can still bring people in that said, oh, that place looks great. You know what? Uh, and while you get people in to see, maybe talk to you, you, you as a realtor could then ask them, Hey, by the way, who's selling your house to see if you can get another listing. So I highly emphasize, I always market our work to say, if you spend a dollar with me, 50 cents is to market the property and 50 cents is the other 50 is to market yourself, okay? And, and opportunity and it's hard, you know, it's very competitive in New Jersey. There's like 40, 50,000 realtors in this itsy bitsy state. It's very competitive. And after everybody goes to their friends, neighbors and coworkers and uh, and every and they run out of people. You still have to have a mechanism to draw more opportunity to you. So that's what we're doing, and it works. So that was good. Also, when COVID hit, uh, that actually helped us a bit because people were very leery of letting people walk in their homes and touching things, and also buyers were a little shaky. So our three D tour business went uh, pretty high. It just it skyrocketed. Maybe a maybe seven, 800 percent increase in opportunity only because people saw the reason. And then we wound up, Matterport didn't have the right platform for doing really good um, virtual open houses. You'd have to, you know, be a technology guy and be able to know about Zoom and run in a Zoom window and, and then run the virtual tour. So we, we looked for, we found an integrated solution that did the 3D modeling but right in it without buying any extra software, you hit it and you can have four little heads on a floor plan all following you around and you can, you know, talk to people. So again, just always looking for, you know, better solutions for my clients to make their jobs easier. And the, the one thing I, I refer to us, uh, even though it's been taken in Florida and Disney World, but we are true Imagineers, you know, an image engineer. We craft the image of the house to make it look good. And we craft the image of the realtor to look really professional and really good. So that's kind of the status of, of um, what's going on at the moment. Uh, sales are a little light.